once again. All things considered, it's probably my favorite theme park at Walt Disney World. It's just so inspiring. It's uplifting. It's the sometimes vlog. It's a vlog that happens sometimes, and sometimes it happens at Epcot. Yesterday I was here roaming around Future World, or the front part of Epcot, a little bit. But stormy weather prevented us from seeing everything we wanted to see. Like we didn't even see the seas. All the beautiful ocean creatures and Nemo and whatnot. And a very dark queue line. Oh, the air conditioning in here, though, is to die for. You sweat more at one day at Walt Disney World. You sweat more than six months of average Southern California weather, for real. It's hard for me to remember to stay hydrated. That's why I gotta get in the sea. Wow, it's very hard to see in this line. See what I did there? Are you saying no flash photography or no splash photography? I would say both. Okay, okay. See, right? <laughs> no splash photography. I'm good. People ask if I like this Nemo ride better than riding in a submarine at Disneyland, and I always answer in Spanish. I say, see, sí, I like to be under the sea. <laughs> see, when you're in the submarine, you feel like a human and checking out under the sea, but right now I feel like I am under the sea, like I'm part of it. Also, it's not claustrophobic in here. Also, there's great air conditioning. This is the best part. This part of the ride is projected into the huge saltwater aquarium here. So you're actually looking at real fish with the Pixar fish. See that? I'm glad we got to see some of the seas together. I really wish I could show all of it to you, but I'd rather manatees you for now. <laughs> see? Because there's manatees in there. Also, there's dolphins in here. And they like swim around and do stuff. And divers and wonderful things and hidden Mickeys. Also, the best kind of fun pick opportunities. Shark picks. Shark picks. All right, all right, all right. I think you've seen enough. Yesterday was thunder and lightning like crazy, and now blue skies. Which means I can finally leave Future World and get out to the World Showcase. Flower and Garden Festival has only been done for like a couple days here at Epcot. And yesterday, these pretty flowers, they went all the way across this, but they're already gone. There's still a few signs that it was here though, for the moment. The only day I was here that Flower and Garden was still going on was the first day I was here, the day I had to check into the hotel and all that stuff, so I didn't have time to really see it, other than like a quick glimpse. But just from the little I saw, I gotta tell you, I think I prefer it to food and wine. I'm just not much of a drinker, honestly. Oh, finally. The World Showcase Lagoon. This is probably one of the last times you'll see it this peaceful for a long, long time because that Frozen stuff is coming. But I don't want to think about Frozen right now. Right now, I want to think about Mexico. Oh, Mexico and your mighty, mighty pyramid of cut someone's head off and do 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 do. I always do Disneyland, Magic Kingdom, even Epcot's World Showcase counterclockwise. So my first stop here is always Mexico. No climbing, senor. I don't know a lot about Mexico. I mean, I know some about Mexico. I've been a neighbor to it my whole life. But the Epcot Mexico Pavilion makes me want to learn more. I want to be best friends with this Mexico. Oh yeah, you know it. If you were ever wondering what a chupacabra actually looks like, this is it. It looks exactly like this. I love these things. Someone teach me how to make them. They're so cool. <laughs> Don't worry, it's just me. This whole cart here is like the party station. You got your piñatas and your drums and your things. Ooh, Mexican large hats. <laughs> and over here they have Mexican small hats. Oh, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> oh, snap, they even have Mexican extra large hats. I could take on every party in America with this hat. <laughs> See? Mucho gusto. Oh, look. You can buy a little miniature grandmother in case your own grandmother is like a jerk or something. Mexico is also home to the Grand Fiesta Tour boat ride over there. I've never seen the line that long before. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. Still never eaten in this restaurant here. Although, I intend to. I don't need your beautiful Mexican restaurant food. I can get my own food. American food. You'll see. Viva Mexico. And viva. They sometimes vlog. I am really, really hungry now. See right there, that's where Anna and Elsa's meet and greets go in any minute. I think I'm literally leaving Disney World like a week or two weeks before this opens. As you can see right now, not too many little children over here near Norway, but that is about to change. The first time I ever came to Epcot in 2010, all I remember from it 
was freaking Norway. It was the best country of all of the countries. They had their crazy Staves Church, of course, and then they also had the ride Maelstrom. Soon Maelstrom will reopen right there as a frozen ride. I'm honestly sure the ride will be great, and I'm sure that I'll actually like it. It's just I wish that both could have coexisted somehow. I wish they could have built a frozen ride somewhere else. Well, Norway's still beautiful either way, and at least the trolls are still here. Now, if we could only get them to stay here and stay out of the comment section, right? Oh, trolls, they think they're so funny. I always have the weirdest, most inexplicable compulsion to purchase every single one of these trolls. Look, like most trolls, this one fancies himself looking in the mirror like, dang, I'm cute. This one here loves stinky, stinky fish. This one's $25, no, $29. While this little viking is only $9. No one can explain trolls, they just are. Oh, finally, this is what I came to Disney World for, an axe. Kill the trolls. If you ever have a chance, look up the old Maelstrom ride through videos on YouTube. You won't regret it. One of the weirdest rides I've ever been on. Anywhere. Yeah, yeah. We get it. You're very popular. I get asked all the time which country at the World Showcase is my favorite, and I really, really can't choose. But all I have to say is China is dope. Like, look at this place. How is this not one of the most beautiful places you've ever seen in your life? It's amazing. And all of this wonderful splendor just to show off their Circle Vision awesome movie about China starring Li Bai, my number one homie. Can't film in there though. They're always yelling at me in Chinese and English. That Li Bai is hilarious though, right? This guy knows. Chinese food is also not gluten free for the most part, so I gotta make my way over this way. Past this weird non-country of Africa section thing. Wait, look at these though. More topiaries. I love topiaries. They even have a Rafiki and Simba one. That is awesome. What a fun topiary. That's a dope tope. Oh, yeah, wunderbar. We finally come upon Germany. There is so much I want to show you in Germany, but I can't because it will make you cuckoo. Ah, uh, Venice. Italy is just so wonderful. At Epcot, I mean. I haven't been to real Italy yet. But as wonderful as it is, I'm getting really hungry. Also, being here just reminds me of the time I saw a couple get engaged right here. And I'm all by myself, so. It's making me feel a little lonely and sad, but it's fine. I don't need love. I don't need anybody. But I do need food. Oh, so badly. So I'm going to my home country. USA. USA. Come on, everybody. USA. You. I'm the only one, huh? That's fine. America. There's an acapella group singing American songs over there, which is cool, but I'm too hungry. I'm too hungry for music. <laughs> oh. There's a dog right there. I just ordered those chicken tenders again from here, from America. And they give you a pager because cooking the gluten-free food separate takes a little while. So it's kind of cool because they get a pager to wait with and this Coke. A lot of places you just have to stand there and wait all awkward. Not in America. They take care of you here. Oh, thank the good Lord. It finally came. I am so excited. This trip and the Florida sunshine and everything. I'm getting a little worn out. I could really use some good victuals right now. Well, as much as I love America, and Japan, and Morocco, and France, I guess, and etc, etc, etc. If I want to get all this stuff edited before I have to leave Walt Disney World, I better start to make my way out of the World Showcase. For now. But I'll be back. Do you hear me, world? I'll be back! Goodbye, Epcot. You are my favorite. Would you look at the size of that ball, though? That's a great big bloody ball. I wish we'd gotten one of these instead of DCA. Goodbye, Spaceship Earth. Thanks for taking us all on a journey to the center of my heart. Live fast, I pour dots, pressure dot com. If you want to support me, got a Patreon. I got a Twitter and an Instagram, I put things on. I'll see you guys later if you subscribe. Wait, that doesn't rhyme. Dang it. You know, 
I've been staying here at the Polynesian for quite a few days, and I haven't really got into the spirit of the whole Polynesian thing yet, but I think that tonight's the night. I'm not much of a drinker, but they do have a Trader Sam's Enchanted Tiki Bar here. I'm a grown-up, kinda, so I'm gonna have one grown-up beverage and enjoy the whole Polynesian thing while I'm here. When in Rome, right? <sighs> Does anybody know what this guy's name is? I mean, him and I are basically best friends now, so I feel like it's like we're past the point where I can ask. It's like a little awkward, so help me out. Okay, Trader Sam's time. Ooh, here it is. Ooh. Ooh, sorry. Ooh, la, la. Oh, that is a beautiful sight. Let me just peruse the menu here. Lots of good looking stuff in here. I gotta say that when I do have a drink, I like it to not taste like a drink, you know what I'm saying? All right, definitely gonna be the Krakatoa. Cause it makes things explode. This one's mine. I did that. The only thing that sucks about coming somewhere like this alone is that people always sit across from you that you don't know. This guy kind of looks like someone I know. Hey, are, are you guys the Tim Tracker and the Jen Tracker? I think, no? doesn't she have red hair? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Never mind, I guess. Awkward. Something haunted is happening. <laughs> Ordering different drinks does different things to the bar. I don't know what that one was, but it was weird. Ooh, those people ordered the Nautilus. Now we're going underwater. You see? You see that? I love to be wet. But I am the Wham Tracker. I have an entire YouTube channel devoted to the 80s band Wham. Oh, that's super cool. We gotta go.